So if you're finding that, you know, you've been playing a lot lately and all of a sudden, like air is starting to leak out of the corners of your mouth and it's not just later on in your practicing, it's kind of all the time, hey, this video is going to help you. I love playing these Legere reeds. They're so awesome. Uh, they're so consistent. I don't have to sit here for an hour wetting my reed or worrying if it's going to play. Hey, Donna here from DonnaSchwartzMusic.com, the site to boost your playing up to the next level. So I had a really great question from one of my subscribers, Sean, and he asked this. When I play long tones or long passages, my embouchure tightens up to the point where air is leaking from the corners. What do I do to relax my embouchure and fix this? Okay, I'm gonna give you one tip to think about, and it actually has to do with what I just said about Legere reeds. Um, it's essentially this. I have a sneaking suspicion, even though I didn't hear you, I have a sneaking suspicion that you may be playing on reeds that may be a little too strong for you, and they, feel, uh, they make you feel like you have to really work hard to just produce the sound, especially in certain parts of the horn. You may find Sean, that you may be biting up into the reed in order to get notes to, to sound good, whether it's producing the sound at all or getting them to be in tune. And when you do that, you're not using your embouchure muscles, you're actually wearing them out, okay? And what happens is you do that over time, you start to leak air from the corners. So, my big tip for you is to go down a strength in your reed selection. Now, I'm gonna give you another pointer with this too. What's really awesome about Legere reeds is that they come in quarter strengths. So I use the two and a halfs on uh, Legere signatures. They're great reeds. They, they always play, they're reliable. I, I don't have to wet them for an hour. And you know, if I have to do like a sound check and then I can't touch the horn for a few hours, I don't have to worry because I can just pick up the horn and it'll play, okay? But the cool thing, is if, for example, the last week or so, I was really sick. I couldn't pick up the horn. When I came back to playing, I said, you know what? Let me start off on the two and the quarters just to get my armature back in shape and all that kind of thing. And now I'm back up to the usual two and a halfs that I use. So you've got that opportunity to go quarter strengths. And the cool thing is that the Legere reeds will, they'll just play, you know? So you don't have to sit there and keep adjusting your reeds. So my big piece of advice for you, Sean, is go down a quarter strength, if possible, uh, with your reed selection. And you know what? I'd also recommend that you try Legere reeds. Just give it a shot, okay? See how you like it. They're available basically anywhere. Um, if you don't have them available in your local music store, which many do carry them, you can get them on Amazon. And if not, you can go to their website at legerereads.com. And, uh, you know, if you have questions, you can certainly contact them. Now, here's the thing, too. Um, reed strength is always an issue. And I've got this really great course. It's the Saxophonist Guide to Finding the Right Strength Read. And I talk about how to do that, you know, how to exactly do that. The thing with a lot of, um, a lot of reads that you buy, you know, once you play them, obviously you can't return them for obvious reasons. But the cool thing, because the Legere reads are synthetic, you can try it out, and up to 30 days after your purchase, if it's not the right strength, you could exchange it. You just contact them via their website, and they give you the instructions for how to do that. All right, so there's further incentive for you. If, you know, you're finding that, again, your air's leaking from the corners and you're biting a lot to get your sound, okay? It could be the reed strength. could be that the reed's not balanced, all right? So, you know, uh, give the Legere reads a shot. I think that'll probably help you. All right. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you, Sean, and others. Hey, give it a like. Give it a subscribe. That would be really awesome. And if you're interested in that saxophonist guide to finding the right strength read, I'll put a link in the show notes uh, for you so you could definitely check it out. All right. Thanks for joining me. On that note, take care. Have a great day.